Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kigercraft. I'm Tagorso, and I'm here with a village librarian. Oh, and Giren too. He's outside. That's where bears belong. But, as you can see, we have found a rather nice desert village. It's actually not too far from home. Uh, home is about a thousand blocks that way. So, today... We are doing Operation Get a Villager. We're working on getting these guys home. And actually, I've gotten all turned around now. <laughs> Which way is home? Is it the three direction? Yeah, three direction. Okay. So we need to make us a little railway. See, this is flat. All right. There we go. Got some rails here. I'll put that there. There we go. We're going to fill out these rails and we're going to start moving uh, villagers on the way home. I'm going to lay down a bit of rail and let's go capture some of these guys. I want at least one of the librarians. I think there's two, but I want at least one. Um, you! Really? You have to be there in like one of the hardest places to get to. Really? All right, go. Go. All right. I got myself some basic tools cuz after my little fiasco with dying and everything, it's uh a little bit hard to use the the good stuff yet. We're waiting on that one for the dragon. There we go. All right. So yeah, you just chill there, buddy. And we will get you going. This is actually the first time I've ever moved villagers ever, so if I'm doing this stupid, forgive me. But these guys are really important. We need them to trade with us so that we can get all that cool stuff, get more emeralds, get all kinds of neat things. And the the um the librarian, the reason why I chose him is cuz he doesn't have such a bad deal. Um he's got Oh gosh, what has he got? Uh two emeralds or so for uh a bookshelf bookshelf or something like that. All right, let's go ahead and boom, put that there. And we'll go give this guy a shove. And hopefully, he'll make it. All right, buddy. You ready to go for a ride? Oh, <laughs> looks like your friend there gave you a shove. There we go. I'm really hoping we're going to take three villagers from the town with us. You, oh, hey, how convenient. You're the one I wanted. And we wanted this butcher, because he's got 15 beef. Oops. He's got 15 beef uh, for an emerald. So that's definitely a good deal. There we go. Just push him along. So that's two. We need... One more. Don't want this guy running back, so let's put that there. All right, so let's see here. Oops, that's a crappy deal. Three emeralds for a flint and steel. And let's see, I wanted, we got, we have a librarian and a butcher. I want to get one of the regular guys. I think there was one over here. He's the one that pushed. What deal? All right, that's fine. You can come. You're mostly just going to be for breeding anyways. Come on. Go. Going to have you're going to make me cut you out here. Oops. There we go. Come on. Go. So, once we get these guys over to the castle, 
they should start breeding, which is what we want. And there we go. Off you go. Let's see if I can beat this guy over here and replace the dirt block. Nope, not gonna happen. All right. There we go. Oops. Derailed. All right, let's see if I can. There we go. And this guy's all the way back here. So now that we got our three guys, we picked the ones we wanted. Garen's going to start shoving them down. And I'm going to clean up this track a little bit because we're going to need this because we don't have quite enough track to reach all the way over there. So we're going to have to clean it up and then move it a bit. But we do have a uh, exciting find on the way home that we're going to be able to explore. Uh, we found our very first desert temple. Um, and it's right near the village too. Um, we were just kind of walking around. We came out of the jungle. It's on the other side of this desert and it was just right there. So I was like, Hey, perfect. So we can go through and we can, uh, check it out and loot it together. And it'll be our first one. We haven't actually found any of the temples yet. Well, to be quite honest, we haven't really been looking. Um, but we have been through quite a few jungles, haven't found a jungle temple yet, and we've, there are about three deserts near uh, my house alone that do not have a temple or any sort of um, cool thing in it, so that, that was a little bit disappointing. Whoa! Oh, crap! Nah, no, get back here. Uh, I f didn't place the block right. No, he's getting away. All right. Uh oh, the librarian got out too. So let's see if we can capture this guy. Um. Oh. oh, okay, all right, it's lag. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we've been having a few problems with uh, lag today. Don't quite know what it is, but it's been very annoying, whatever it is. So we're going to end up fixing it here. So we hope it ends up fixing itself, rather. So we can't, we've tried everything to uh come on to get everything working properly and nope the other way there we go and it just hasn't seemed to be working it's kind of weird it comes and goes like uh i was playing some of my games earlier and all of a sudden like my ping would just start climbing and climbing and climbing you know usually i get about 80 on the server that i play on and my pings would jump to over 500 milliseconds, so not exactly uh, favorable for doing anything on the internet. So I don't know, might have to contact uh, our ISP in order to find out what the heck's going on. Because they do have problems. There. There we go. Do have problems from time to time. All right, so there we go. Look at him go. The other one disappeared again. So Garen has built this entire thing over here, and oh, I got a missing chunk. There we go. Fix that. <sighs> and uh, for those of you that are curious on how I reloaded that, it's uh, Shift 3 and A. So you hold Shift 3 and you hit A and uh, that'll reload all the chunks in your area. Um, a lot of people noticed that uh, that sort of reloading feature was removed from earlier uh, snapshots of 1.3 and uh, they thought it had been removed uh, altogether but that's not necessarily true. It is back in, they just changed the hotkey I guess. Alright. 
Looking good? I don't see any of the villagers. Well, since we're here, we're going to take a quick break and go check out the desert temple. Because it's right over here. They're going to be safe up there, right? <laughs> You'll keep them safe. Lots of baddies out here. Since we're the only ones on the server, a lot of the baddies uh, spawn very close to us. Um, so we're going to check out this temple. The temple is actually looks really weird. Um, it looks like it's barfing up a, a jungle. And I'll show you guys what it looks like here. So these orange little blocks are the eyes, and then it's just... Bleh, out comes the jungle. <laughs> The generation on this was a little bit weird. When we first walked by, we didn't even we were wondering what the heck was going on, but um, yeah, it's kind of got a jungle halfway inside it. So very cool, very cool. All right, looks clear. Here's zombies, but I think those are outside. All right, so one of these blocks is, there we go, it's this one here. This is the easy way to do it. You just uh, tunnel down, break that, and there you go. Everything's safe. Um, I actually don't have any torches on me, so sorry about that. Oh, so we got gold, bones. Take this chest. Let's see. Ooh, a diamond. Speaking of finding diamonds in chests, we're going to talk a little bit about Ultra Hardcore Season 8. So if you have not watched the first episodes of Ultra Hardcore Season 8, you are definitely going to want to turn this off, go watch them, and come back later because we are going to be talking about them because we're hardcore, ultra hardcore fans. And uh, we are, we won't, we're we going to be talking about uh, potential spoilers. So if you haven't seen it yet, uh, you're going to want to go see it. Um, as of right now, um, it's about... Oh, hey, buddy. There we go. Uh, it's about uh, time for uh, Ultra Hardcore Episode 2. So, as soon as we're done here, we're going to start watching that. But, um, speaking of diamonds... And the like. Um, there have been a lot of surprises so far in uh, Ultra Hardcore. Um, we've seen some new players do very, very well, and some old players do not so well. Um, if you remember from last episode, um, one of my picks for this season was uh, B Double O, and unfortunately, he's out. I was so I was so sad. Um, I was really hoping that um, he was going to be able to do a little bit better this season after uh, him and Good had such a hard season seven, um, but it just didn't work out. The poor guy got caught, you know, making a couple bad mistakes. All right. <laughs> oh, Garen. But he got caught making a couple bad decisions uh, right off the bat at the beginning. So that uh, prematurely ended his uh, season eight, which is kind of it's kind of heartbreaking because um, B Double O is is one of my favorite Minecrackers and. Uh, I was really hoping that he was going to get a little bit of redemption from season seven. And he caught, he caught Milby. Um, oh, I got some here. Let me get, let me give you a stack. There you go. Um, he caught Milby early on in the game and uh, he decided to rush in which was definitely not the best decision. He took he took a lot of damage uh, from a skeleton that Milby was uh, trying to run from, I guess. Um, oh, crap. My thing broke. 
Um, so definitely not the uh, the best decision in the world that brought him down to um, two hearts, uh, where he was later caught by Nebris and killed. Um, I was a little bit disappointed. Um, he just started running uh, when he saw Nebris. Um, I was the entire time I was like, "No, turn around, do some damage. You're gonna die." But you know, you might as well make it harder for Nebris. Um, but Nebris got him, and that was the end of it. Um, so I was a little bit, I was a little bit sad. Um, also, Good is having an equally hard time. I, I really, really feel for the guy because he got a creeper in the face like almost immediately like five minutes into the game one just caught up with him in the middle of the day he turned around and boom that was that was definitely some bad luck there i know how that feels um having trouble with creepers myself it's definitely not a good feeling and uh it was so sad a lot of the people on uh, the, I don't have a pickaxe. <laughs> My pickaxe broke. Okay. There we go. Um. Yes. These carts look empty to me. <laughs> I hope. I really hope they are in there. Ah. Uh, all right. Got to climb back up. But, um, yeah, Good is equally not having a good uh, season. Can't make this jump. There we go. Uh, good day, daytime's coming around. So, um, oh, oops. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Um, is he going to swim up? I, I can't even see him. This sucks. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Alright, we're going to take a, a quick break right here. Ow. Sorry. We're going to take a quick break right here and we're going to try and get this, uh, this villager back into, uh, his little cart and uh, we'll continue on from there when we do that so we will be right back okay so we recovered the runaway librarian uh, we got him down there and then pulled him back up here built a little bit more of the rail and uh, now we're ready to continue um, we <laughs> sort of ran out of blocks so I uh, gotta go over here and are we ready to go? Okay, here we go. And push. So what we're trying to do is there's this big jungle uh, between us, the village, and the house, the castle. Um, so we're trying to get them up and over the jungle uh, in a sort of straight shot. So that's why we're building this sort of railway system to uh, get them going. And they won't take any damage in. Oh, looks like I lost one. Oop. And I lost another one. This is hard. <laughs> These these uh these carts are scary. It's like they're empty. So I really hope that we get here and that uh <laughs> they actually are in there. Cause it would be absolutely terrible if they weren't. This is the first time we've ever moved villagers before, so before there was really no need. It was village having villagers was just a cosmetic thing. There we go. So this is actually useful. So we're gonna run back here. Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna put a little block off to the side here. So the way I'm not in the way. There we go. And then we got one more to go get. But anyways, um, continuing on about uh, Ultra Hardcore, um, we actually had a couple newcomer surprises. Um, one of them was Adlington. Um, right now, um, I, I believe that this is his first uh, Ultra Hardcore, and he is dangerous. He found a jungle temple uh, like right away. Uh, let's go ahead and... There we go. Uh, he found a jungle temple uh, almost immediately, and uh, I got. I'll, I'll move him. Uh, he found two diamonds in the chests that were contained in the jungle temple, so he has a diamond sword right now, which in this early in the game is that's a huge advantage. He also found. Um, dispensers and a redstone repeater and all kinds of other stuff so i i'm not really sure that he realized um how lucky he was because when he opened the chest and there was um the diamonds inside he didn't really seem to be super excited like he should have been um Anybody else would have been like, holy hell, diamonds. And he was just like, oh, diamonds. I mean, most people go through. Oh, shit. Where? Did I just lose one? Uh. Okay. Well, I, oh, there he is. There, got him. Whew, man, not being able to see these guys makes this a lot more difficult. Um, but most people go through ultra hardcore and never find diamonds. Um, it's actually super rare and they usually don't find them until they're at least a couple episodes in. So him having them so early really changes the game. But um, he's also really oblivious. Um, he was right next to um, Vintage Beef and didn't even see him. He adjusted the, um, uh, the render distance on his client and actually... <laughs> Vintage Pig. Uh, he actually could have seen him, but I'm not really sure if he was just saying like, oh, you know, I didn't see anything or what because of the, the sort of the glitch, I guess. So, but he, Vintage Beef actually made a really good getaway um, from Adlington. He did a really good job uh, getting away from him. So, Vintage Beef, way to go. He he said that he's going to be playing uh, a little bit differently this season. He's going to be more cautious, and uh, that was a really good escape. Um, so he's doing really well. Um, he's doing definitely doing better than other seasons. He's still at full life. He hasn't lost any health yet. Um, I don't remember exactly what he has, but I think he has a full suit of iron. So he's he's doing pretty good. So... Definitely, uh, definitely exciting to see uh, what he, how he's gonna do. Um, he's definitely on our backup list in case uh, any of our other guys, uh, like Michael or Kurt, if they, uh, if they go down. Um, but a lot of people doing really well so far. But there's also a lot of people doing pretty bad. Um, Good, uh, BWO's out. Um, Milby's down to one and a half hearts. Um, Let's see, who else is down? Generic B is down to four hearts, um, which is kind of disappointing because he actually, being new to the Minecraft server and ultra, ultra hardcore, was actually doing really well. Um, he is 
has a strategy, I guess, where he's not using any torches so that he can see people's nameplates easier. And it actually worked out really well because on the Reddit thread, um, he actually had the most encounters of anyone um, because he saw so many people. He saw uh, he saw Packrat, and then Packrat was like ten blocks away from him, and he hid behind freaking reeds to hide from him. And it was absolutely the most the most hilarious thing I've ever seen in all of the seasons of Ultra Hardcore. Packrat was right there. I don't know if he was ignoring him or what was going on, but he was in plain sight, but behind reeds, and he didn't he didn't get seen. So the entire time I was sitting there and just laughing so hard because I was like, he's right there. Oh my god! But nope. Totally got away scotch free, and then he he fell victim to um, I think it was a, a creeper and a skeleton. Oh man, he took a lot of damage. Like I said, he's down to four hearts, um, but I didn't think he he realized that the the AI had gotten a little bit more deadly with the ultra hardcore mod. Um, so he he definitely paid for it. So I'm hoping that he can find some gold. He can get down and find some gold and make some golden apples and uh, and get some of his health back. Because I would like to see uh, Generic B do very well in this because he was actually really entertaining to watch. So it's definitely uh, definitely somebody on one of my backup lists in case uh, somebody I like takes a fall. All right. There we go. Okay, so we still got we got our guy over there. It's our our librarian right there, and well, can't really see any of these guys. So, all right, all right. So we're gonna take another quick break right here. We're gonna have to go uh, gather some more blocks to uh, continue our rail. But we're almost there, we're almost home. Uh, just a little bit more that way, and we should be done. So we will be back as soon as we have some. Okay guys, we're back. Um, we've completed the dirt track all the way over to the entrance of the castle, and we're ready to get the next part moving. So we're gonna move these villagers that are hopefully still in these carts um all the way down the track oh no they're getting away from me <laughs> run uh but um some other cool news today um the oatmeal uh tweeted earlier about a project to save nikola tesla's old lab um Nope, nope, nope. Um, they apparently want to... Okay. No, no, need blocks. Need blocks. Stop coming back at me. There we go. Oh. Moving village is stressful. <laughs> We've actually been at this for quite a while. Um, but they want to uh, turn Nikola Tesla's old lab into a museum uh, because there is not a Tesla museum anywhere in the United States, which is actually really, really weird to me for some reason. I mean, I'm I'm a huge fan of Nikola Tesla's work. Um, he's actually made a lot of the things that we consider very modern day way 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 back when um like he invented ac current which now comes out of your wall to power all of the devices in your house um he invented the electric motor back in like 1883 he's done a lot of really awesome stuff most most famously he's done the the tesla coil but he has like over 300 patents to his name 
he did a lot of really influential work um, in the early 1900s. Um, his last project, which is actually the site that in New York that they are trying to uh, save, uh, was a wireless power transmission that would provide free power to the entire world. And he had set up a gigantic uh, power transmission tower. Um, and actually, the base of the tower is still there. And fortunately, he only got to test it once before um, a lot of the people who he owed money to came in and uh, forced him out of his lab and took possession of it, pretty much repossessed his laboratory, um, which is actually very unfortunate because his work was so influential. Um, you know, General Electric, you know, is the, the company that um, um, Alexander Bell, I think it is, um, started, or no, Edison. Yeah, Edison started. Now I'm all confused. Anyways, um, you know, they had the DC power, and they were a big competitor of his, and... Um, you know they they were doing more consumer grade things and they they had a very fierce rivalry going on but um so nikola tesla's work was extremely uh eccentric he was he was a very weird person i guess uh, a lot of people described him as saying um but nonetheless his work is very important he is uh, an american immigrant and he did a lot of great things so i think that it's kind of a a very sad thing that we don't have a museum and most of his labs um, that he used have been uh, destroyed unfortunately um, as this one is actually threatened to do um, it's for sale right now the land is up for sale for uh, 1.6 million dollars and that's what they need in order to purchase it and there's another uh, company that okay let's go ahead and move these guys one more time um, there's another company that wants to uh, turn it into a retail front um, and they want to pretty much uh, demolish all of the laboratory that's left and with it a bunch of history so um, link will be in the description if you guys can um, I definitely recommend that you uh, donate to the project um, it's for a great cause um, we really need a Tesla museum uh, in this country to honor uh, one of the greatest uh, inventors that we've ever known. So definitely, if you guys can, I recommend uh, uh, donating to the project. If you can't donate, spread the word. There we go. More rails. Um, that's what I'm doing. I don't have any money right now to donate to the project. Otherwise, I absolutely would. Um, so I'm spreading the word. Uh, you know, get out there on Twitter, on Facebook. You know, this is, this is something that's really important to uh, not only to me, but I think it should be to, to everyone. Um, so get the word out there. Um, the Oatmeal is uh, helping out with this. He's the original word getter out there, I guess you could say. Um, he's got an interview in Forbes magazine, and uh, he heard about the project and that they were having uh, financial trouble. And so he's pretty much got behind them and used his force on the internet to um, rally people to the cause. So I can definitely, that's definitely something I can get behind. Um, I really enjoy all the work that a lot of people do for charities um, like you know Kurt and his uh, far lands or bust and you know the cube tubers and child's play charity and and all that stuff these guys do amazing work and they all deserve um, our support as much as possible um, so this Tesla museum is just another thing that um, you know would help enrich um, the lives of a lot of people so that's why I support it so you know check it out it's definitely a cool uh cool thing if you guys don't know anything about tesla he's an amazing inventor um i've i've always been fascinated with his stuff uh, when i was in college we actually had a tesla coil um in 
our uh, electronics lab. Um, unfortunately, it was broken. Um, we never got around to fixing it, but um, it's definitely a cool piece of machinery. And a lot of the things that um, Tesla did and discovered is stuff that um, we still learn about today in uh, electronic classes like the one that I took. Um, so definitely, it's it's he's definitely way, way more important than a lot of people would give him credit for. Um, a lot of people think that he just made the Tesla coil and that was pretty much it, when really he is sort of the father of advanced electronics for the, the modern era. So he's definitely a really cool and important guy. Um, shoot, I'm losing a lot of these rails. I oh, need to eat. <sighs> but in other cool um, news about electronics, um, I've got the first parts for my new computer. Should be arriving today. Um, so I'm definitely very excited about that. Um, I've got, so far I've got today, the case is coming, the CPU fan, the memory, and tomorrow is going to be the processor and the motherboard. And, uh, on Friday should be, um, the audio equipment that I ordered. So, um, next three days are going to be very, very exciting. Um, we... Now, depending on how things go with me setting up this new computer, I'm using a lot of parts from my old one, uh, mainly like things like the power supply and um, the DVD drives and the hard drives and things like that um, from my old computer, the one that I'm using right now. Um, so it is possible that we might miss an episode if I have uh, issues with uh, hardware compatibility or uh, the software doesn't get... Um, uh, doesn't get updated properly because I'm moving from a 32-bit system to a 64-bit system and uh, I'm not really sure uh, how that's going to affect um, the new computer so hopefully we're not going to have any compatibility issues um, but I do just want to say that it is possible that we might uh, miss an episode so if we do I do apologize I'm going to try out my absolute best to make sure that that doesn't happen uh, if I have to pull parts out of the new computer and reassemble the old one, I will do it to avoid uh, missing one if I can. But, you know, definitely, uh, definitely exciting. I can't wait to get it and get it hooked up so we can start uh, doing all sorts of cool, uh, cool stuff. So this is going to be the last, uh, second to last uh, movement. Um, so these guys are going to move just a little bit here. And then it's going to be all downhill from there. And then we'll pop them out and they'll be done. It's exciting. I can't wait to finish. We've been working at this for uh, almost an hour and a half now um, because of some mistakes on. Oop, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I broke your helmet. <laughs> Please don't kill me. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel so bad. Oh, but yeah, this is, uh, this has been a lot harder than I anticipated. Um, so we just gotta, there it is. Bird's eye view of the castle. And it looks like Garen's going to have enough rails. I'm looking over here at his computer. Yep. Looks like he's gonna, he's gonna finish. Now we just got to get it. Get these guys up and down. Are you ready to receive them? All right. Go, go, go. Go, villagers. You're free, home free. Go on. Yay. Uh, well, we got one, two, yay, they all made it. Very awesome. Oh, gosh. Whew. We're going to have to clean all this up uh, a little bit later. Dang, we got zombies already? 
kill this guy here. Oh, this is my awesome bow. So, all right. There we go. Oh. Looks like they're all moving upstairs. Oh, we got one downstairs. So I guess he considers this a house. All right, cool. A lot of people had uh, shown concern that this uh, block would make too much light, but it looks like uh, he's fine down there. So yay, jump around, we're done. Ooh. Oh, they're breeding, they're breeding. I disrupted them. <laughs> Oh, bummer. <laughs> okay, here, let's look at them through the window. We'll be little ping ping toms. Okay, well, um, we'll probably have some little villagers running around here pretty soon. But, oh, so glad that this is finally over. Now we just have cleanup to do. But the villages, the villagers are happy. They consider this their home, their breeding, so we are officially done and the courtyard is now inhabited, so we're super excited. Oh, so glad to be done with this. All right, well, thank you guys for joining us for yet another episode of Kikercraft. We were super excited to uh, get this project finished finally, and uh, thank you guys as always. So remember to like and comment, and we will see you guys next time. Take care.